this property, suppose S is any sample space and the U and V are subsets or events in S. Suppose U is included in V, then we can show that the probability of U is less than equals to probability of V. So these are the facts that we have. These are the assumptions that we have. S is a sample space. U and V are events or subset in S and the U is included in V. We're going to show that the probability of U is less than equals to probability of V. We're going to apply the properties of sets using distributive, set difference, identity, universal bound law, and other definitions that we learn in set theory and simplify this as much as we can. Please note that U union with V minus U is equal to U union V intersection, the complement of U. So this guy can be written as V intersection, the complement of U. That's the meaning of the difference between these two sets. So in general, if you have A minus B, it's equal to A intersection B complement. But remember from the set theory properties, we can distribute union over intersection. This is the property that we are using. A union B intersection B, we can basically distribute union over intersection. We get A union B intersection A union C. So this is exactly what we did here. We can basically just distribute U over intersection, the union over intersection, and you get U union V intersection, U union, its complement. But please note that when it comes to the complement of an event, and it's a, the union is nothing but S or the sample space. So in general, if you take the union of U, with its complement is equal to the sample space. So we are using these basic information. So, so far we have U union V intersection with S, which is nothing but U union V. U union V, these two are subsets of S. They are included in the larger set. So if you take the intersection between the subset and the larger set is equal to U union V. But remember that U is a subset of V. So their union is equal to the larger set, which is V. So, so far we showed that U union V minus U is equal to V itself. Well, U intersection with V minus U is equal to U intersection, V intersection, the complement of U. And then you can group these separately. It is U intersection, the complement of U and V. Well, here you can group these two together. You get U intersection, its complement, which is going to be empty set. Intersection with V, empty set, intersection with V is equal to empty. So what is our observation? The observation is that these two sets are disjoint. So since these two sets are disjoint, and we know that V can be written as the union of U and V minus U, this is equal to the probability of U plus the probability of V minus U. Well, this is coming from what we learned before. If you have two disjoint sets, it means that their intersection is empty, then the probability of A union B is the probability of A plus probability of B. Remember that in general, you have probability of A union B equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of their intersection. But since their intersection is empty, this guy is equal to zero. Very good. Now, we know that V minus U is an event in S as well. So, since it's an event, 
the probability of that event is positive. What's the meaning of that? It means that P of V, which is P of U plus P of U minus V, must be more than or equals to probability of U. So what's the meaning of that in this case, in this scenario? It means that, hey, we have the probability of U less than or equals to probability of V, and we just prove this statement.